I mean, you can have, you can play a game very, very well and still lose. It doesn't even have to be some massive damage game. It can just, like, I've had well-played games. Games I thought I played quite well and didn't really make any glaring mistakes and all this. And my damage is underwhelming and my team got rolled. Sometimes that just happens. That's World of Warships. That's Conquer and the Yamata. That's a pretty rough combo to find. Can we expert loader for the Shima? No, we lost vision. Can we expert loader for the Mogador? No. Nicely done, my friend. Though. See, I'd feel guilty if it wasn't the fact that I'm a gigantic battleship that can be seen across the map. See, now I'm a bit annoyed, because now we're gonna get the flat broadside, because you're not fucking moving. See, land damage was because of you. For fuck's sake. I don't understand how you even make that fuck up though in a battleship. Like I see a full battleship, full broadside battleship sailing like this. I adjust my course slightly and go around it. Usually when you go around the back of a ship, that's always, never ever any chance Problema of running resuelto, in. Señor. But then you have these people. Like, how, how? How do you fail to see something so obvious? A game without CVs is like a dinner without beer. Yeah, instead you have you have the finest selection of wine and whiskey in front of you. shoot this cruiser, sure. But this Yamato is actually pretty long. Let's switch deck, you know. Pushing in. I think I'm much more humble than you would understand. Thank you for the increased YouTube content. Mech 1178, thank you for the four months. I'm so humble. 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 I'm so the angle. He knows it's coming. And he lives. Three fucking bounces. Attack, of course, chooses that exact moment to pop out. Why not? He's gonna ground? It looks like he's gonna ground. No, he's angling in. Making a full turn. Gotta be patient with BBs. Wait for that perfect shot. Common mistake with BBs is people shooting too early. Shooting too quick. Let's see, we're tracking him on the minimap. We're using the circle to aim. That should be pretty good. Turned out. No way to slow down. Is he stopping? He's turning out. Oh, Wooster, 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 Wooster. Hello, Mr. Minimap. Let's pay attention to you as well. A 
Acorazado enemigo detectado. Mm -hmm. Crucero enemigo aniquilado. Thunder is such a nice ship, though. Remember when Flammel got a solo warrior in, in, in Ibuki? Yeah, that, that's one of those things that... You know they happen so fucking rarely. I've gotten like six solo warriors. There was a time, like I played the game for two years or something without getting a single solo warrior. Then once I got my first solo warrior, then they just started popping in. It's naturally a lot easier to get solo warriors if you play something like a carrier. But considering I never played them, it was always painfully hard for me to get one. Recommend the Thunder or the Yoshino? Uh, yes. On Jupiter. On Jupiter. Can we get a third devastating? If the Zao turns out. Come on, I know he wants to turn out. No, don't ground. Why are you grounding full broadside in front of the demon? Turn. Sergei. Oh, heal a bit. Devastating is 60% of the health. I need you to heal him. Oh, you grounded. Eh, there goes that one. Let's see if he continues turning. Oh no, wait, you're going to right, why not? We can get another devastating. Yay! That's three devastating. Nice. But yeah. If I have to choose between Yoshino and Thunder, it's not a very hard choice. Thunder is basically, if you know how to aim, Thunder is basically good to him. Oh shit, is it accelerating? I thought it was slowing down. No, don't upgrade my shells. No, that's the Yamato that's been running for us all, all game. And we can put some fires on this guy while we catch him. What about Thunder versus Hayate? Well, Hayate has been MIA for a good while. Where did my shells go? It's literally sitting still. What the hell did my shells miss? Oh, 
Oh, I get the final cut. <clears throat> yeah. The thunder is just great. The simple way of putting in thunder is just great. I made a commentary on it recently where I call it the marksman's dream. And that's because the guns are just so consistent on this thing. If you get a full broadside and you shoot well, you aim well, you have such a high probability of getting a lot of damage. Yeah, three devastating.